Hey, what's up? It's Ipsy, back again with another speed build for ya. This one's gonna be a bit of an interesting speed build, because not only do you get a speed build, but you also get a history lesson. I'm a huge fan of peculiar and interesting histories. So I'll probably end up doing more of these style of speed builds as things come up, or maybe just do standalone peculiar history videos. Obviously not every peculiar history I want to talk about is going to be able to fit into a concept of a speed build. But the ones that can, honestly, it's kind of fun to build these weird architectural wonders. I think it's nice to do these because it pushes me to do new things that I've never personally done. All right, so let's get on to the topic at hand. This build was inspired by the Skinny House in Boston, Massachusetts. The Skinny House, located at 44 Hull Street in the north end of Boston, Massachusetts, was originally built in the 1870s. Historians are unsure of the exact date, but they know it had to have been built after 1874. According to documents found in the Boston City Archives, the land that the Skinny House resides on was split into five lots in 1884. The smallest of these lots was measured at only 274 square feet, which corresponds exactly to the size of the house before renovations were added that lengthened it. Apparently in Boston, it's common knowledge that there are many narrow zone lots. But this lot and the house that resides on it is even skinnier than most, only 10 feet in width. Like many other spite houses, this house has a past that has been left up to speculation. And the house's true history is basically a mystery. One theory states that two brothers inherited a large plot of land from their father after his passing. While one brother was away in the military, the other built a grand home on a large section of the inherited land, but left his soldier brother a very small portion. In an act of defiance, the soldier brother built the narrow house just to spite his brother, as the house would block his brother's light in view. There is another theory, and it's just as petty. This theory states that the original landowner built it to block the light and air from the property of his hostile neighbor. Have you ever had a neighbor that you just absolutely despise? They just constantly grind your gears? Maybe they let their dogs use your yard as their personal toilet? I think we've all been unlucky enough to have an annoying neighbor or two in our lifetimes. I don't know that I would go as far as building an entire structure just to annoy my neighbors, though. I don't think I'm that petty, I have to say. I'm a pretty petty person, don't get me wrong, but I really don't think I'm petty enough to build a whole house just to spite someone. There is one situation where I might do it, though. You might have heard of this spite house. In the early to mid 2010s, this was a very popular point of conversation on social media. One of the most recent and notable spite houses is actually the Equality House in Topeka, Kansas. Though the original house wasn't built with the intention to spite anyone, the founder of nonprofit organization Planting Peace, Aaron Jackson, bought the property after seeing a for sale sign at the house while surveying the community around the Westboro Baptist Church in Google Maps. 
He decided to purchase the house and hired a military veteran to repaint the house to match the colors of the rainbow flag in tribute to the LGBTQIA community. Another interesting fact about spy houses, you'll find a lot of them in New England built in the 17 and 1800s. Another notable spy house resides in Marblehead, Massachusetts and dates back to 1716. Local history states that a sailmaker named Thomas Wood built the old spite house. This house is narrow at only 10 feet wide and has a front section that juts outward in a peculiar fashion. Though the exact reason it was built in such a way is unknown, there are two prevailing theories. One is that the house was built for two bickering brothers who hated each other and occupied opposite sections of the house. The other theory is that the 10-foot section at the front was built to block the view from other houses because the owner wasn't happy with the land share he had received from his family. Like many historic spite houses, no one knows exactly why the old spite house of Marblehead was built like this, but the house still stands today, serving as a private residence. Like I said earlier, I'm not sure that I'd ever be mad enough at my neighbor to build a spite house like this, but I might do it despite something like the Westboro Baptist Church. I very much stand behind the idea of spiting horrible organizations like that. If you've listened this far, comment down below and tell me a time you've had an issue with your neighbor and if you would build a spite house just to spite them based on whatever issue you had with them. If you have any other ideas about any historical peculiarities or architectural wonders you'd like me to talk about, please leave those in the comments below. I am always interested in learning new things about strange history. And maybe if you comment something architectural, I'll do a speed build of that next time. I guess it just depends on how complex the architecture you comment about is, as I'm not the most skilled Sims 4 builder. I think it's pretty evident that I'm not the most skilled in how many edits I make in my build and then delete them immediately and redo them over and over and over again. Honestly, because this build was so far out of my comfort zone, it really took me a long time to figure out what I wanted from it and how to get what I wanted to happen. I had to explore a lot of new concepts in Sims 4 building that I had never done before, but it was a lot of fun to complete this build. I won't be posting a video on it, but I will be decorating the interior of all of these apartments in the spite house itself. And once that is completed, it will be posted on my gallery. But for now, you can find the exterior built in this video on the gallery. My gallery ID is Ipsy Lorem, and links, as always, are down below.
if you'd like to come chat with me live, I'm live on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 a.m. EST. I don't typically do these builds on stream, but if there's ever the desire for it, I definitely will. Please give me a like and a subscribe if you like the content and want to see more. And please, as always, give me any feedback down in the comments that you feel I need. I'm very new to the video editing process and making YouTube videos in general. And I'm always just trying to learn new things about how to do things better. So please don't hesitate to give constructive criticism at any point. Even if the constructive criticism is about my build, please drop it in the comments below. Oh, and also, if you download my exterior and decorate the apartments yourself, please, please tag Ipsy Lorem when you upload it to the gallery so I can go and look at that. Because I know a lot of you are probably much better decorators than I am. All right, that's enough of me talking. I'll let you watch the rest of the speed build and then there will be some cinematic shots at the end just so you can get a feeling of the vibe of this build. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.